All right, guys. So what's up? It's Survive from Survive Cartel, and uh, yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys my final thoughts and impressions on the Overwatch Uprising seasonal event. Talking about Uprising, let's talk about the Uprising PVE game mode. One of my favorite things about this event. I hope it comes back one day. Jeff did say that one of the goals for the Uprising event is to have this game mode in the game browser, but they couldn't meet that goal. I hope they don't give up on that goal, and this thing makes it to the game browser eventually. One of the main reasons why I love the Overwatch PVE game mode, it's because Honestly, it was just a ton of fun, alright? I had a lot of variety since, of course, you could play with, you know, a lot of heroes. There were a lot of specific strategies that you can do. And on top of all that, it was just chill and very, very relaxing. You don't have to worry about losing SR or, you know, fucking losing a match or having no healers in your team when you're playing Grifo. You don't have to worry about any of that. All you gotta worry about is... You know, having just one healer in your team, and that's it. You know, you should be good. And sometimes you don't even need a healer in team. You know, if you have someone like Soldier76 and, you know, other self-healing heroes, you should be good. Anyways, the Overwatch Uprising PvE game mode was definitely my number one favorite thing about this event. Another thing that I liked about the Uprising seasonal events was the skins. I mean, shit, man. The Widowmaker skin, the Genji skin, the fucking McCree skin, uh, even the Torbjorn skin and the Mercy skin were amazing all right uh i'm also very very glad uh that widowmaker you know finally got the skin that she freaking deserved uh i saw that genji got another skin uh i look man all i all i'm saying from this is uh, i really just hope that the heroes that haven't gotten their uh event legendaries that they do get them on upcoming events uh, that are coming this year i hope symmetra gets an event legendary i hope bastion gets an event legendary i hope hanzo gets an event legendary but all in all one of the things that again you know that i really liked about this overwatch uprising seasonal event was the freaking skins the skins on this event i think were the are the best skins that we have ever ever gotten sure the halloween ones were you know, pretty, pretty cool, uh, but honestly, I think these are the best skins we've ever gotten. Blackwatch Genji, Blackwatch McCree, Talon Widowmaker, even the epic Reinhardt skin look fucking amazing, man. And on top of all that, the skins in this freaking um, thingy look very, very flashy, alright? Anyways, another thing that I really liked about this event, some of you guys might be like, wait, what? Did you just say that? Yeah. Another thing that I liked about this event was the fucking voice lines. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, dude, you care about voice lines? What? Man, I really, really like that they added two voice lines instead of just one voice line in this event. Because now we have more voice lines for the heroes. And, you know, some people might say, well, that sucks. Because, you know, then it's actually harder for you to get the legendary skins and all that stuff. And I do see that perspective. But honestly, I'm really, really glad that, um, you know, heroes got two voice lines. I really do hope that from now on, every event that we have, uh, you know, for Overwatch, okay, every hero gets two voice lines. And I hope, of course, on every event or so, you know, we do have more heroes with emotes and all that stuff. The soldier push-up emote, the Hanzo training emote, amazing! God damn it! Um, other, other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, this event was amazing. I love the voice lines, I love the highlight intros, uh, I love the freaking skins. But all in all, the three things that I liked about this event um, was definitely the voice lines, the skins, and... The Uprising PvE game mode. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are the three things that I like the most about this event. I guess you could say my three highlights. What are your three highlights? Let me know in the comment sections below. Uh, oh, I'm also very, very glad that uh, this event uh, came in as well. One of my favorite things about events is that they actually get me to play Overwatch more. You know, like I have to know life Overwatch so I can get all of the fucking skins and... I don't know, I, I really like that Overwatch has events because the events actually kind of give me uh, more of a reason to come back to Overwatch, you know what I mean? Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace out.